Hey there, it's Felix here from HeyDon'tShoot.com and FelixGPhoto.com and today we're talking about shooting 4K video, specifically with the Sony a7R2 mounted with the Sony 70 to 200 millimeter f4 lens. Now I've been wanting to get into shooting 4K video for a little while, but what's been stopping me is that I don't have a 4K video monitor to look at the footage. But last night I went out and bought a 55 inch Sony 4K television and now I can shoot in 4K, render in 4K and see the end results in 4K. And that's really what you need to get the most out of 4K video. So today I went out in the backyard garden, just took a few simple shots. We're gonna put some music on it and take a look at the 4K results. And then this footage that you're watching right now is also being shot on 4K, but it's being shot on the Sony RX100 Mark IV, a fantastic pocket camera, probably the best compact camera in the world for sure. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. Something else that you're really going to have to think about when you're producing 4K video is the computer that you're producing it on. You're going to need at least 8 gigs of RAM, a quad-core processor. I recommend at least an Intel i5 or an Intel i7 processor and 16 gigs of RAM. So keep that in mind because that's really where your money is going to be because it's going to take a while to render that video. Also keep in mind you're going to need really fast internet access. If you're uploading 4K video to YouTube, it's going to take just that much longer to do it because we're talking about much, much larger file sizes. So as you can see, pretty stunning results in 4K. Hopefully you guys have a 4K video monitor and you can watch it in full resolution. I was shooting maybe 30 second to one minute clips, so I really didn't get any heat problems. Of course, a lot of reviewers out there on YouTube are talking about the overheating problems with the Sony a7R2. So maybe next time I'll start shooting two minute clips and four minute clips and see if there's some overheating problems. I can actually put my hand to the body right here and feel a little bit of warmth to it. Of course in 4K you're talking about a lot more processing power, a lot more stuff going on inside the camera demanding more of those processors so it is going to get hot. But next time we'll see just how hot it's going to get.